Well, hello there, Facebook family. How y'all are? I'm gonna let uh, my father introduce himself. Bonjour, comment ça va après-midi? Mon nom est Monsieur Pat Camel. Et uh, je laisse ici ta grand mot Et uh, je vais rester à Delcam longtemps. Uh, C'est ça que j'appelle ma, ma, ma place d'habitation. C'est tellement Delcam pour pour 50 ans. Je suis à Maurice aujourd'hui et je euh, souhaite vous attendre un bon temps. And I'm, and I'm Brian. Voulez-vous vous souhaiter? Dad, what show is it today? Show number 30, 30 back, 31. 31. Dad said, look, you like my little exclamation point? I said, yeah, Dad, that looks great. I said, but it looks like a hyper three. So he said, oh, I'm going to go change. I said, no, don't change it. Just uh, remind everybody what show we I own. Make a straight line. We I didn't go a, back a back to the future. Miss Hazel, happy Saturday. Miss uh, Miss Hazel is uh, is our featured fam of the, of the day. Dad, I'm going to read Miss her. Hazel. Yeah, Hazel, Hazel Gauthier. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to get to that. And Dad, I noticed your brace. You, 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 oh. you have, uh, but that's okay. But you know what I, I came up to the conclusion Whoa. is... You, you, your left knee reminds me of a typical Vermilion Parish relationship uh, because it, it's off and on a lot. You know, you on, you off, you off, you on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, come see, come yeah, saw. Yeah. So, uh, hello everybody. Miss Janet Landry checking in with a uh, with a hello. Miss Hazel saying happy Saturday. My sister-in-law Sharif uh, Nunez Campbell saying hi. Uh, Candy uh, Latino checking in. Uh, Miss Carmen, hello everybody. Mr. Randy Reed, resident Mamouin. Miss Christine Dore is in. Miss uh, Louise Duyon is hi everybody. My sister's checking in. Um, I hope everybody's having a good day today. Uh, Nanny Charles said help, but I think she meant to say hello. Uh, Miss Kathy Ritter, Ritter checking in. There's my little message to everybody today. I'm going to start doing this as a little tradition. Cassie Sistrunk checking in. And uh, Mr. Eugene, absolutely stupendous Saturday, Mr. Eugene. Uh, Miss Carolyn Viator, uh, good afternoon. Uh, Jace Romero saying, me and Colleen are listening to you, loving Miss Shaw. Uh, Colleen is my godmother. Hey, Nanny, Colleen. Uh, Roger Daigle ha says hello from uh, 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 Silsby. You ever heard of Silsby, Dad? Yeah, Silsby, Texas. Silsby, Texas. Yeah. Miss uh, Dale uh, Landry checking it. Go ahead, Pop. I think my first cousin, Roy Mouton, lived, I think it was in Salisbury, Texas, but he, he's deceased, been deceased. Roy Mouton. All right, so. Uh, not Roy, uh, Al, Al Mouton. Al, Al Mouton. Mouton? Yeah, no, Roy lived in the so, South So, this is the plan of attack for this Saturday. Uh, we have some awesome music that Dad's uh, craftily prepared in the kitchen for everybody. He's going he's gonna to cook up a, a, good, a good show today. Uh, we have, uh, because it was so popular yesterday, we're going to have uh, Disney Movie Trivia Round 2 with alternate Cajun, uh, alternate reality answers. In addition, uh, Karaoke with Brian is going to be Ice Ice Baby today, so y'all want to check that out. And uh, Dad, how you feeling? And I always feel good. Thank you. Thank God. Yeah. Amen. Thank God. Well, well, let me ask you a question because I don't know. Right. We'll talk more about the person of the day. Or yeah, I'm going to read it all at the, at the, at the end. At the mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I hope you guys have your toes warmed up. Uh, I told Dad. I said the first song. I want those toes to be a tapping, and uh, I want there to be uh, some some jamming out on the foot. Yesterday I called it toe jam. So, uh, Dad, why don't you give everybody at home some, some toe jam? Well, I'll do my best. I'll remind everyone I am definitely not a professional. I'm far from a professional, but I'll do what I can. Uh, I do play uh, the harmonica a lot better than the accordion, uh, but I figured the first song, uh, the, the Bosco Stomp or Step It Fast, whichever you want to call it, uh, I'm going to do it on both. I'll start off with the accordion, and then I'll end it with the harmonica. Let's do it.
That's that's multi talented man. You start up, you you uh, you must be by. Not you know great. the people that can play uh, two instruments some more. You know they say Not you great. you can be by like the bilingual, the bicycle. Uh, that was pretty cool. What is a Bosco? I think Bosco might be the name of a place. Wasn't that that uh, cop on the Dukes of Hazard? That Roscoe. Oh, Pico right. Get, 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 get. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, you can say Roscoe. Oh, oh, get, 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 get. Oh, I love that show, man. Boss Hall. That was cool. Yeah. Boss Hall. Oh, yeah. Snoopy on the mantle. That's uh, Love One Another. Lucy, did Sarah give that to you? The Snoopy mantle. I thought it was kind of cool. Wanted to send a little Love One Another message. Uh, Miss Carolyn Viator said, oh my, you had my mom and I dancing in the kitchen. Ooh, who's that? Miss Carolyn Viator. Ooh, me Bobby. Ooh. Ooh, that. I didn't know. Feeling hot, hot, hot. I hope y'all had the fire extinguisher uh, close. What is the purple object? The purple object is a Mardi Gras hat. And uh, I just thought it would look cool. So I put it up there. Sometimes we don't have a, a rhyme nor reason. Who is ready for some Disney movie trivia? I know you are, Dad. Dad's I am. ready. I am. Dad's ready, man. He watched all the movies uh, outside of Old Yellow last night. He is. Pro you remember in the Matrix when Neo plugged into the Matrix and they downloaded all that information? Dad was watching Disney movies uh, all night, man. He he stayed up real late. I think he stayed up till eight fifteen p.m. <laughs> and uh, so he's been up. Here we go. Disney movie trivia. Remember, you keep track of your points, and we're using the honesty system, right, Pop? We get, oh, yeah. You have to oh, swear yeah. them in, Honest. swear in my deputies. All right. Question number one: What is Cinderella's slipper made of? Oh. Don't answer right away. Let let them have a minute, Pop. Pop. That I know. What is Cinderella's slipper made of? Don't answer in the comments. I don't know why I hit puberty right there. Don't answer. Okay, Pop. Pop what you think? Silver. It is. That's a very good guess. The silver slipper. Boys, anybody want to guess? I don't know. Maybe a glass slipper. Glass is the correct answer, Papa. Silver slipper. Glass. I think that's a casino in Church Point or something like that. Oh, uh, man. But I still need to give the Delcom alternate universe the, the Cajun. So Cinderella's slipper in a in a Cajun alternate universe is made of Delcom Reebok. It's a it's a very yeah, yeah. it's an a in, high top it's a and it's a very indestructible substance. It can make sure it gets her to the ball through the swamp, uh, uh through pair. through the uh. I got a pair like that. Oh man, through the chicken trees and all. You know, you got to get to the ball. You probably got to go through some rough terrain, bro, to get to get there, man. Get out the P rogue straight to the ball. It's made out of Delcom Reebok. All right, so if you got it right. You give yourself a little point. And uh, uh, the old joke with our family is that Mr. Terry, even though this is after the second question, Mr. Terry already has two points. Uh, he he, he, he answers them. I don't know. He's just good, Pop. He's just good. All right. So that's how we play that game. And, uh, Dad, we are going to move on to song number two, which is our lawn yacht category. And you chose the Jolly Rogers Waltz. 
That's what Dale Menard. Dale okay. Menard tell, that tell us a little bit about that. La Valle de Jolly Rogers. Jolly Rogers was the name of a dance hall. And I know the Jolly Rogers was a dance hall in Farquhar Island. And I don't know if he named that that uh, that waltz after that place. I'm sure mm -hmm. he did. Vols de Jolly Rogers. And... Uh, Ain't that the candy people, the, the kids here? Yeah. No, no, that's the Jolly Rancher. Yeah, that's the, the Jolly, Jolly Rancher. Ranch. My bad, my yeah. bad. But this is, uh, and in, in French, it'd be the Jolly Roger. The Jolly Roger. The Jolly Rogers Club, I remember, I went there quite a few times with my mom and dad, uh, the Jolly Rogers, uh, when I was, I don't know. Maybe, Has anybody else been to the Jolly Rogers Club? Years old. I'm going to see in the comments right, while you play the song. Right, when see. you... Bef yep. About a quarter of a mile before you get to that high bridge in Farquhar. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's yeah, a yeah, road that yeah, veers to the left. Yeah. You veer to the left yeah. and on the right. Now, the little prairie left. lounge. That's a little past Corner, that, huh? That's okay, all right. All right, if you've ever been to the Jolly Rogers Lounge, let me know in the comments while okay. Dad plays the Jolly Rogers Waltz in French. the first time. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Sarah Sistrunk Doggett said she thinks that the Jolly Rogers Club was in her mom's yearbook. Was that around Kaplan? Well, you said yeah, it was south of yeah, south of Forkin Island. That's awesome, Dad. Well done. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. All right. On to Disney trivia question number two for all you smarty pants in the kitchen. I think you know everything. The song, You Can Fly is from which Disney movie? The song You Can Fly is from which Disney movie? I know, I know Papa's thinking hard, hard. Oh, he's thinking hard, hard, hard. Okay, he's, look, he's got his uh, yeah, space I, I telescope. I, I think I know. Okay, Papa, what's the answer? Peter Pan. That is correct. Yes. Peter Pan, if you got Peter Pan correct, that, you get two points. You get two points. Ooh. Now, I need to give you the answer in the alternate Cajun now, universe. Uh, the question again? Sure. The song You Can Fly is from which Disney movie? In an alternative Cajun universe, the song You Can Fly is from the Disney movie Wayne Toops and the Adventures at the Shrimp Festival. Uh, you, oh, you Can Fly is from the Disney movie Wayne Toops and the Adventures at the Shrimp Festival. Sure yeah, man, he was, he, was, he, was, he was a humming. Oh, yeah. All right, Dad. Uh, oh, wow. What a hum Miss Christine said Terry missed a question. So since he missed that question, that brings his total to four, or three or four. Well, probably eight. Yeah, probably, probably eight. Nine. Probably eight. 
You'll, you'll make up. I know you'll, you'll make it up, Mr. Terry. And listen, we love you and Miss Christine. Thank you all we for tuning in. We just pick uh, Oh, I know what they pick it. Nah, oh, um, what they say, you can pick your friends, you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. But well, you yeah, gotta be, with, with, you gotta be six that, feet, six feet, feet away. Yeah, you can yeah. pick their nose if you're six feet away. Okay, we want to practice the the, uh, the social That's distance. That's Madame Grandeau come in. Madame Gros. Gros. Madame Grandeau, that means Miss Long Finger. <laughs> Madame Grandeau, what county people? Madame Grobeck. All right, next Lanya, Dad chose. I'll stay a bachelor. I'll stay a bachelor. By Vin Bruce. By Vin Bruce. Vin Bruce. Ready? Oh, I was born in 1976. Ready, Bob? Huh? Uh, Miss Jane, uh, Dad likes his shirts like he likes his greens, collared. So she says uh, you dress. <laughs> you <laughs> said green. you said you you said she said you dressed up today with your collared shirt. No, I, oh yeah. And uh, yeah. Ms. I tell you what. Tell uh, me what. I can't wait for those t-shirts to come in, so so I can start wearing. Yeah. Them. But but I had I don't know I don't think I wore the same. Uh, the same Mr. Terry time. said he didn't get that question right because he's been hitting the wand. So I, I have a special, Whoa. I have a special message for Miss Christine and Mr. Terry right there. So I, I understand, Mr. Terry. I totally understand. That's um, bad though. One missed question. Oh, uh, well, out of like what five five days, he's missed one uh, question. Yeah, just one. Who Ooh. wants to be a millionaire? Is that your final answer, Terry? Is it? Is that your final answer, Terry? <laughs> Good afternoon, y'all. Silas Fontenot checking in from the budding metropolis of Ville Platte, Louisiana. And uh, Cajun you music. Miss, Miss, hello. Miss Mary Alice Gray said Cajun music makes everybody happy, happy, happy. That's because the secret to Cajun music is in the rub. You know, the, the secret to a good uh, a barbecue is oh, in the yeah. rub. Oh, yeah. The, the yeah. secret to good Cajun music is in the rub. Uh, we use a belly rub. That's a, a, a tactic we use uh, Ooh, to, get the, the to get the Cajun music going. All right. Next trivia question. Here we go. Get your thinking caps on. What type of animal is Bernard in The Rescuers? Oh, I know. What I know. type of animal is... Man, you went quick right there, Dad. This was like a... It's an obvious answer. This was like in Jeopardy. You, you didn't hit the buzzer. You got to hit the buzzer. All right. Yes, sir. What is, wait, wait. Give him a second. Okay, one second's up. What is Bernard in the rescuers? It's obvious. A St. Bernard. 
<laughs> wow, that is deep, Pop. That is that is next level deep stuff, man. I, I just it's had a Bernard saves people. If y'all are playing the uh, Pat and Brian Campbell drinking game, y'all go ahead and drink because Dad just gave me a brain cramp. A uh, brilliant answer, Pop. However, it is incorrect. It is very incorrect. It is vastly incorrect. It is uh, the answer is a mouse. <laughs> it is a mouse. Yeah, but you were close. Uh, you were close. They are they are both living organisms, and uh, one's big. They have four legs. Um, yeah. And in the Cajun alternate universe, Pop, maybe you could get this one right. Do you know what type of animal Bernard is in the rescuers in the Cajun alternate universe? What? He is a Gaydon bear. Bernard <laughs> Bernard is a bear from Gaydon in the rescuers Cajun alternate universe. I'm sure Mr. Terry I got knew, that one right. I, I knew some Rizudos. All right. Y'all uh, y'all uh, keep track of your points. Uh, Miss Nola, will we do another teacher of the order? We were we were gonna do a new one, but not the same shirt. Uh, we're gonna do a, a different. Uh, Bonfire reached out to us to do a free design, so we may do one more uh, shirt order, but a different shirt. Not a free um, shirt, but a free design. Yeah, a new design. All right. Um, so someone again asked me if I drink red or white wine. You remember the answer from yesterday, Dad? The answer was. Yes. The yes. Answer is, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, Dad. Moving on. In your classic country category, you chose. Does my ring around the collar hurt your finger? <laughs> oh, I added. I added the other syllables. Does my ring hurt your finger? May God damn don't your fingers broken? Oh. Remember that hurt. Watch that. Yeah. It hurts everywhere you touch. Watch so. I. I. Yeah. I. Yeah. I. Yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. I now ask me if I know what's wrong. You say, let me now ask me if I know what's wrong. Ask me if I'm with me. May, may pop your fingers broken. Oh man! All right, it can Ooh, fix man. it. You just gotta, you gotta. Ooh, you remember that joke where he says, "Man, I broke my finger." He says, uh, "What happened?" He said, "Man, somebody punched me in my nose." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, Dad. Classic country. Here you go. Oh. And then you get a break when I do my karaoke. Okay. Does my ring hurt your finger when you go out at night? When I bought it for you, darling, it seemed to be just right. Should I take it to the jeweler so it won't fit so tight? Does my ring hurt your finger when you go out at night? Did you enjoy yourself last night, dear? How was the show? You know that I don't mind it when you go. I understand sometimes we need a time alone. But why do you always leave your ring at home? Does my ring hurt your finger when you're away from me? I'm so proud when you wear it for all the world to see. Should I take it to the jeweler so it won't fit so tight? Does my ring hurt your finger when you go out at night?
Good job, Dan. Thank you. All right, so some people are asking about the shirts. So when we placed our order, they said that the shirts would be shipped about 10, 10 to 14 days after the drive ended. Because remember, they're, they print the shirts oh, went once time. all at one time. So uh, so I think the drive ended sun, last Sunday or something. So it, within 10... And the of, people in sales put in their address. Yeah, their they're going to ship. So yeah, so, ship it to so the shirts house. aren't going to come to our house. They're going to get shipped uh, right to you guys. Um, all right, Dad, that was awesome. Thank you. All right, we're going to do uh, two uh, Disney trivia questions right now. Double timing. How many daughters does King Triton have? How many daughters? First of all, Dad, do you know what movie King Triton is in? Uh, King Triton? Yeah, 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 King Triton. It, there's King Kong and King Triton. Uh, what, what movie was uh, King Triton in? King Triton, that's not the one that was on top of the Empire State Building? That was Kong. Oh, King Kong. Yeah. The answer's four. <laughs> oh, that's, what a great guess. What a great guess. Uh, that is unfortunately incorrect. Uh, the correct answer, does anybody yeah, want to guess? Five. It is not five. I thought it was four. The answer is seven. Whoa. Seven daughters, and Ariel was one of the seven. Yeah. Um, do you know what the answer is in the alternate Cajun universe Read of the, the movie? Again. How many daughters does King Triton have? No, I don't know. Okay, in the, in the alternate Cajun universe, uh, the answer is seven that he knows about. So he has seven that he knows about. You know, there could be more. But six and yeah, be he made right yeah, but so seven that he knows about. All right. Mm -hmm. Our next question. What did Aladdin steal in the marketplace at the beginning of Aladdin? I know. I know. I know. Wait, give people time, Mr. Oh, no I'm Mr. Know it all. Mr. Smarty Pants. I know this one. For sure. Smarty pants. All right, Dad, what did Aladdin steal in the marketplace at the beginning of Aladdin? A, a, a magic lamp. That is an outstanding answer. Unfortunately, one of your wishes isn't to be correct. Um, the correct answer is bread. He stole bread. But, but that was a really good answer. Um, well, you know, the, I don't know about Aladdin and the bread. I know Aladdin and the lamp. Look, we, ne, tomorrow we're going to do uh, nothing in, in, B. O Y N B O Y. Uh, nothing but old yellow questions tomorrow. Um, in the alternate Cajun universe, uh, what did Aladdin steal in the marketplace at the beginning of Aladdin? He stole toilet paper. Um, that's uh, that's yeah, what Aladdin. Yeah. yeah, that's what Aladdin stole uh, in the marketplace. All right, all right. You ready to do some karaoke, Dad? Yeah. All right. Why don't you get set up? All right, everybody. Y'all sing along if you know it. Okay. Here we go. Yo, VIP. Let's kick it. Ice, ice, tea bed. Ice, ice. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. Ice is back with a brand new invention. Something grab a hold of me tightly. Flow like a harpoon daily and nightly. Yo, what does stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn off the lights and I'll glow. To the extreme, I wreck a mic like a vandal. Light up the stage and watch it chump like a candle. From rush pick at booms, killing your brain like a poisonous mushroom. Deadly when I play a dope melody. Anything less than the best is a felony. Love it or leave it, you better gain weight. You better hit the balls out of kid, don't play. If there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the hook on my DJ Revolver. Ice, ice, tea bed. Ice, ice, tea bed. Ice, ice, tea bib. Now that the party is jumping, with the bass kicked in and the biggest are pumping, quick to the point, to the point, no faking. Cooking MCs like a pound of bacon, burning them, they ain't quick and nimble. I go crazy when I hit a cymbal, ha ha. 
with a souped up tempo. I'm on a roll, it's time to go solo, rolling with my 5.0 and my rag tap down so my hair can blow. Girls on standby, waving just to say hi. No, I just drove by, kept on. Pursuing to the next stop I bust a left and I'm heading down the next block The block was dead so I continued to A1A Holly Beach Front Avenue Girls were hot wearing less than bikinis Rocking lovers driving Lamborghinis Jealous cause I'm out getting nine Shake with a gauge and vanilla with a nine Ready for the chumps on the wall The chumps acting up cause they're full of eight ball Gunshots raging out like a bell I grabbed my nine all I heard was shells Falling on the concrete real fast Jumped in my car slammed on the gas Bumper to bumper the avenue's packed Trying to get away before Jack is Jack Police on the scene, you know what I mean? They passed me up, confronted on my dope fiends Their problem, yo, I'll solve it Check out my hook while my DJ pop revolves it Ice, ice, tea bed Vanilla, ice, ice, tea bed Here we go, last one Take heed, cause I'm a lyrical poet My Miami's on the scene just in case you didn't know it My town created all the bass sound Enough to shake and get holes in the ground Cause my style's like a chemical spill Feasible rhymes that you vision and feel Conducted and formed is a hell of a concept We make it hype, you know, go on a step with this Shake plays on the face, slice like a ninja Cut like a razor blade <laughs> To the seat say, bam, it rhymes for a drug I'd sell it by the gram Keep my composure while it's time to get loose Magnetized by the mic while I kick my juice If there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it Check out the hook while, while pop revolves it <laughs> Ice, ice, tea bed Ice, ice, tea bed. Y'all know what time it is. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Word to your mama. <laughs> Good job, Dad. You did great. What you think of that, Pop? You ever heard that song before? No, but you should have. Use your brain to learn something <laughs> worthwhile and memorize them songs, Dad. That's great. Oh, right? dude, I practiced a full 30 minutes on that song, oh, man. Give it up. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to teach you how to do hey, that dance one the, day, Pop. You're going to be doing the uh, the, 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 the you ice what, walk. Does my ring hurt your finger? That was printed this morning at about 10 okay. o'clock this morning. Dad, do you, know how to, oh. do you know how to moonwalk? You ever heard of that? Yeah, I know how to do that. But I can't do it now with my knees. I, I do it better than Mr. Terry. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Hey, you did good. I told it, I told you that'd be fun. Man, yeah, Brian, that was good. Yeah, that was. Uh, I think uh, DL uh, wrote that uh, in the early '90s. I think that was a right. DL song. All right, let's uh, get to. Oh, that was very good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, oh, Melissa laughed on word to your mama. For, for, word, word to your mama. Uh, all right, Dad, let's get to, while you get ready for your next song, I'm going to talk about our Facebook fan of the day, Miss Hazel Gauthier. Everybody give her Miss Hazel a big round of applause. <sighs> all right, she was born in December. I was born in December. My wife was born in born December. In she was born in December uh, 12th, 1953. She was born in Lafayette, Louisiana, and now she resides in New Caney, Texas. Her wait, 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 what Texas? New Caney. New, New Caney! No. Her first job was at Baskin Robbins. How many flavors they got at Baskin Ooh, Robbins? A that? lot. A lot. That is the correct answer. Her current job, uh, she is disabled, uh, so she's not working right now. Uh, do you have a favorite song from the Pat Campbell Quarantine Concert Series? She said, you are my sunshine. Uh, what advice would you give your younger you? Have faith, trust in the Lord. Can you share a favorable memory, a favorite memory as a childhood? She loved road trips when she was taking road trips. What hobbies do you enjoy? She says computers. Uh, she loves to do uh, secret word books, coloring, and solitaire. Who inspires you? She said her friends inspire her. She said, or I asked, are you single, taken, or complicated? She said complicated. So she must be seeing someone from Vermilion Parish. What qualities do you look for in a partner physically? She said, all I look at is the heart. So, and you know where the heart's located, Dad? Yeah. Where? That's on the, on the ponky. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because remember growing up as a kid, oh, people, yeah. the, the mama would come and say, shallow heart. And she'd tap it, she's shallow heart. heart. Yeah. So <laughs> that's where the heart's at. Y'all didn't know I, did, I knew anatomy. I teach anatomy. I know where the heart's at. Um, she said, what qualities do you look for in a partner personally? She said, fun and caring. 
And uh, what's on your, how about this answer, Dad? What's on your post-quarantine bucket list? She said prayers. That's a, that's a good person right there. So thank you, Miss Hazel, for being part of our Facebook uh, Live family. And uh, uh, anybody wants to fill out the survey and be our fam of the day, hit me up and I'll send you the survey and just uh, return it. Dad, next up, we have uh, I asked you to pick something in classic French and you picked in Louisiana. Dans la Louisiane by Vin Bruce. By Vin Bruce. Vin Bruce. Ready? Let's do it. Is that right? Don't drop the potato. Someone just asked. They're tuning in for the first time. No. no. Oh, wait. Do you know it? Sing that me. No, no. Obviously, he doesn't know how to play. Oh, uh, we'll we'll try to work it in uh, on a future show. And uh, so, uh, uh, Miss Jane, showing. Yeah, maybe so. Miss Jane, thank you for asking. Uh, we yes. really appreciate, man. We we love feedback and uh, interaction with y'all. So I'll make sure Dad gets that on his homework. 
uh, yeah, we we were just joking around. Dad was gonna play it and then and then play a little bit of it and then say, no, I don't know how to play. And then almost had a brain. Pack. That's okay. That happens. That every, uh, Mr. Terry just drank, so it's all good. Um, all right, Disney trivia. Let's move on. Um, in Dad, listen, I think you're gonna get this one. In the Sword and the Stone, what is the greatest force on Earth? In the Sword and the Stone, what is the greatest force? On Earth, I think I know. What you think, Papa? Heart. The answer is not heart. I was making a heart to try to infer love. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say grab it. <laughs> uh, love is the greatest. So if you got that one right, give yourself a point. And in the alternate Cajun universe. In the Cajun sword in the stone, the greatest force on earth in the alternate Cajun universe is a Cajun a few hours after eating a crate of sweet potatoes. That is the greatest force on earth. (laughs) 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 He can be taught. So in the Cajun sword in the stone, the greatest force on earth is a Cajun a few hours after eating a whole crate of sweet potatoes, man, that is a force that cannot be denied. Um, all right. <laughs> if you, uh, next question. What animal does Jafar change himself into when he's fighting Aladdin? Now, you remember watching Aladdin with the grandkids? You remember what animal Jafar... Um, what animal does Jafar change himself into when he's fighting Aladdin? Oh, good job. Brian, Brian got it right. The answer is a cobra snake, a Ooh. cobra snake. And in an alternate Cajun universe, the animal that Jafar changes himself into when he's fighting Aladdin is a rougarou. A, a rougarou. rougarou. He changes into the rougarou, boy. And he's like, rougarou. come here, Aladdin. All right, Dad, next Ooh. up, we got, you know what a rougarou? Oh, yeah, Tracy don't like the rougarou. A rougarou. Go- oh. uh, all right, Dad, next up, we have... She's she's gone gone. She's a gone pack on. Gone pack on. Now I left it for sale. Now she's not just gone. She's gone 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 gone. gone, gone. That's gone, a, gone, gone, that's gone, like when pack-on. that's when like when you ask someone for directions and they say you go down that road and you go straight straight straight. And I think <laughs> and that's like turn that, that. I think it's one mile per straight. So like straight straight. All right, pop. Here you go. Uh, 
again at about uh, 10, 10 30 this morning. You know, it was pretty you know good. I didn't what I didn't remember that song until you started playing it and then I you know then it then it sale. came uh she's gone. And uh someone enjoyed your gone Miss Jane uh show and said gone pecon with an exclamation point. So maybe she hadn't heard that before. She's gone, gone, pecon. Remember my uh my Cajun version of Bop? I'm gonna bop with you, baby. All oh. night long, I'm gonna be bop with you, baby, till you gone pecan. So there's lots of ways you can use gone yeah. pecan. Yeah. All right, Dad, almost finished. Uh, almost finished our, our, our trivia. I hope y'all are keeping track at home. Dad, when Mary Poppins leaves the... When will... Sorry. When will Mary Poppins... You know who Mary Poppins is? She's the one that she's, flies with that umbrella. Yeah, she, she's from Sunset, Louisiana. Really? And uh, when will Mary Poppins leave the Banks' house? What, 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 what will be... What does she say... What is going to leave? When will she leave? What what has to happen before she leave? And she leaves what house? The Banks' house, not not the not Gulf Coast they, Bank, yeah, but like their their Banks last name is the Banks. Any 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 word? Any help? Uh, plead the fifth, Pop. Plead the fifth. I know it, but I won't say. That's it. a great answer. When the wind changes. When the wind yeah, changes, that makes sense because she flies when the wind changes, exactly. Now, in the Cajun alternate universe, when will Mary Poppins leave the Banks' house? When Mr. Banks pays his child support, that's when she's going to leave that house. He's got to pay his child support, and then she'll yeah. the, the winds will change that, that way too. Sense. Dad, who was the first actor to be nominated for a Golden Globe by voicing a character in a Disney movie? Who was the first actor? to be nominated for a Golden Globe by voicing a character in a Disney movie. I don't know. He, he's, he, I'll give you a hint. He's, uh, he, he's, he passed away. Very funny, very famous. Um, oh. His first name starts with an R. It's a bird. It's also a hood. Uh, uh, uh. It rhymes with Mobbin. Oh, oh, Robin Williams. Yeah, Robin Williams. I knew it, but I just That's couldn't okay. think of his name. Uh, it, well, you know him as Robin. Uh, that, yeah. To be fair, you know him as Robin. Um, and in a Cajun alternate universe, who was the first actor to be nominated for a Golden Globe by voicing a character in a Disney movie? Rob Perillo. <laughs> <laughs> Rob. Uh. Rob Perillo was the first actor, so, uh, <laughs> all right, all right, Dad, next, oh, dude, I'm excited about this song, uh, this was, this was, uh, uh, Don Meredith saying this on Monday Night Football, remember when, uh, the game was over? I, I think it's the, it's, it's a, a different one, song. okay, you know what? I, 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 turn out the lights, listen. the party's over, <laughs> is that the dude, wrong song? All kind of things can go wrong here. I put down, turn out the lights, and love me tender to, and and love me tonight, by Don, by Don Williams. Williams. And I don't know what. Instead of putting turn out the lights and love me tonight, I put turn out the lights. The party's over. What well, I meant. You, so y'all have to no, go by what listen, I mean. Listen, not by what let, I let me explain, because I've been knowing you my whole life. Uh, yeah, that's true. Dad's bedtime is eight fifteen, so it was probably eight twelve. And he's typing this up right before his eyes closed, and he, he was like, the party's over, man. <laughs> Turn out the lights, the party's over, it's time for My bed. My secretary's could type. <laughs> so, so it's Turn Out the Lights and Love Me Tonight by Don Williams. Kick off the shade, turn That's out the it. lights, That's love the me tonight. So, so. Don't think about That's tomorrow, it. it don't matter anymore. Someone, someone to hold me. Pull down the shade, turn out the light, and love me tonight. Don't think about tomorrow, it don't matter anymore. 
We can turn the key and lock the world outside the door. I need you so now. Come on, let's go now. Kick off your shoes, turn out the light, love me tonight. Don't worry, you don't. Now, now don't, don't you worry, we're all alone. alone. And now let your hair down and sit by my side. side. Turn off, off the TV. TV. Put on some music. Put down the shade. Turn out the light. Love me tonight. Don't think about tomorrow. It don't matter anymore. We can turn the key and lock the world outside the door. I need you so now. Come on, let's go now. Kick off your shoes. Turn out the light. Love me tonight. Hey, you know, I've been waiting all day to make that uh, Monday Night Football. <laughs> I mean, I, I, Turn out the well, lights, the I party's time, over. I wish I could make enough songs, because I'm just barely keeping up. Make them and practice them for two, three days. Show them your doggy paddle, Pop. Show them how you're staying above the water. <laughs> all right, guys, here is the... Last Disney trivia question, then we're going to open it up for prayer requests, uh, as we always do on our show. So the last question, and then you got to let me know how many uh, points you got with our 10 questions today. Which of the following, now dad, this is a good one because it's multiple choice, so you got a chance. Oh, I got a chance. Which of the following is not the name of one of the original seven dwarfs? Which one is not? Okay. Okay. Answer choice A, bashful. Answer choice B, lazy. Answer choice C, dopey. Which one is not I know that. an original seven door? I know it. Okay, give everybody a second. All right, Pop, what you got? Lazy is not one. That is correct. Sleepy, happy, grumpy, dopey, sneezy, bashful, and doc. Now, in an alternate Cajun universe, I'm not going to tell you which one's not. I'm going to tell you what the seven dwarves are in Kajin, in an alternate Cajun oh, universe. All of them? All of them. I got all seven, bro. I've been working okay. overtime. Lazy, crazy, workman's compy, duyon, kuyon, puya, and kanai. That's the seven. <laughs> that is the seven. You want to hear them one more time? Lazy, yeah. crazy, workman's compy, duyon, kuyon, puya, and kanai. That's the seven dwarves in an alternate yeah, yeah, Cajun universe. Yeah. Universe. All right, guys, how many points did you guys get in total out of 10? Mr. Terry got 11. He had a bad day. He had a, he had a bad day. He had, man, he was off today, man. He missed one. Oh, man. You, you, hey, those days happen, Mr. Terry. Um, all right, so now we're going to do our prayer request. So anybody want to, uh, you know, it could be the same thing or it could be something new. Uh, you can type in your prayer request. You don't have to, but if you want me to read them, uh, put in your prayer request. Dad is going to play Peace in the Valley. And then after Dad finishes, I'm going to read our prayer request. We're going to pray for everybody. And then we're going to end with uh, You Are My Sunshine. Also, let me know if you are a first-time listener, if you're a first-time watcher uh, today. We want to uh, give you some love and uh, thank you for watching, okay? Um, all right, Pop, here we go. Peace in the Valley. How many are you listening? Uh, I have 53, Pop. 53.
I'm tired and so weary. Well, I must <clears throat> go along till the Lord comes and calls, calls me away. Oh, yes. Well, the morning so bright and the lamp is alight and the light night as black as the sea. Oh, yes. There will be peace in the valley for me someday. There will be peace in the valley for me. Oh, Lord, I pray. There will be no sadness, no sorrow, no trouble, I see. There will be peace in the valley for me, for me. Well, the bear will be gentle, and the wolves will be tame, and the lion shall lay down by the lamb, oh yes. And the beast from the wild shall be lit by a child, and I'll be changed, changed from this creature that I am, oh yes. There will be peace in the valley for me someday. There will be peace in the valley, oh Lord, oh Lord, I pray. There'll be no sadness, no sorrow, no trouble, I see. There will be peace in the valley for me. Good job, Ben. Good job. Thank you. All right, let's uh, get to the, you know what, the, 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 for me, Dad, the best thing that I see, well, best thing, I know that's relative, but where someone will have a prayer request and then some of the new friends they made on Facebook reply to them and, you know, just personally uh, connect and say, I'm going to be praying for you. And uh, all right, guys, here we go. Um, Dad, you get uh, ready for... Um, uh, you are my sunshine, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Jody Primo, unspoken personal. Yes, sir. Uh, Jody, unspoken personal prayer request. We got you, brother. Miss Hazel, health for me and my daughter here in New Caney. Um, uh, Mr. Terry, thank you. Special prayers for Brian, Pat, and their families. Thank you, Mr. Terry. Uh, Miss Candy, a Latino, she has stage four lung cancer, pop. So we're gonna say some extra prayers for her, and uh, her husband is an essential worker. Uh, we're going to pray for all the healthcare workers, and, and especially for you, Miss Candy. Um, Miss Deborah uh, Rittenhouse, David Smith has been sent to a hospital for COVID-19. Please keep in your prayers. Uh, yes, ma'am, we will. And uh, all the patients at the rest home he's at, absolutely. All the, 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 the uh, nursing homes and the, especially all the people who, you know, you, you say that for your special prayer. that aren't getting the visitors like they, they used to. Um, Prayers for our dearly departed. That's a, a good a, a good prayer for us to remember them in our prayers. Miss um, Kelly Broussard wants us to just be prayed and to be uh, thankful, uh, be praying in Thanksgiving. Uh, pray for the homeless. Miss Joyson uh, wants us to pray for the homeless. Uh, pray for everyone in the storms affected over the weekend. Uh, Mr. Randy, absolutely. We're gonna pray for everyone to be safe in the bad weather. Uh, Ms. Carmen, uh, she wants to pray for more kindness and love towards all. That's, that's a great uh, a great prayer. Um, Ms. Judy Sonye, pray for everyone with COVID-19, absolutely. Uh, Ms. Nola Bado wants uh, Dad, you to, she's going to pray uh, that you continue to have good health. Um, Thank you. Um, Ms. Jane Schoen, um, you're very welcome. Uh, you're very welcome. Um, let me make sure I want to... Uh, uh, Ms. Jane showing protection for the vulnerable to the virus. And uh, I know go ahead, Pop. Yes, sir. Uh, Ms. Destiny Vietar plays off. Uh, and Ms. We're just going to pray for the family. We're just going to pray for the family. Okay. For the family. okay. 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 All right, Dad. Let's lead us. Let's lead us. Uh, let's lead us uh, in your my sunshine. I 
sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. The other night, dear, as I lay sleeping, I dreamed I held you in my arms But when I woke here I was mistaken And I held my head and cried You are my sunshine, my only sunshine You make me happy when skies are gray You never know, dear, how much I love Take my sunshine away. Louisiana, my Louisiana, a place where I, I, I was born. White fields of cotton, green fields of clover, the best fishing and warm of corn, the fish gumbo and jambalaya. Everybody, my sunshine, my only sunshine, you make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Until next time, everyone, word to your mama. We love you. God bless you.